Alright babe, where are you taking me? Taking you to Rachel so you can go to Disney World. Are you gonna miss me? Rachel! Hi. So, oh, you mean my beach bag in there? Oh. <laughs> um, we made it here last night at, is that gonna shut? Yeah. Oh, hang on. At 4.30 in the morning. And we slept really really late so we're skipping the beach and going to Target to look at their cute little Disney stuff and Disney Springs this is cute with the glitter how much are they here oh they got a Star Wars one too These are cute. Don't need long sleeve though. This one's cute too. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, look at these cute little slides. Those are so cute. So cute. Oh, that's cute. Look at the headbands. Oh, that's cute. Current mood, grumpy. Yep, it's me. Oh, those are cute on that back wall. Oh, that's cute. I think these are kids too. Oh, I hear it now. Here's your uh, face mask. That's a cute dress. I feel like these are pajamas. Oh, this is a cute jersey. I know, I saw that. Can you imagine walking around Disney in that? God, oh, you'd sweat to death. They have a good selection though.
this uh, thing. And Rachel was making fun of me. <laughs> she said, hey guys. No, um, hang on. No, I don't think I got a lot of footage from Disney Springs because Rachel walks like a bat out of you know what when she's <laughs> walking through the stores. Um, so I got a little bit, I got some clips though. So we're getting ready for bed and setting all of our alarms and stuff, getting ready for tomorrow is Hollywood Studios. So we, that's what we're doing tomorrow. We gotta get up early. So I'm gonna wash my face <laughs> and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay guys, I'm so glad I'm coming to you alive and in one piece this morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh no, but we really did have a hotel scare last night. <laughs> it was scary to me. Okay, so let me paint the picture for you. <laughs> so the hotel that we're staying at, it has an exterior door, which makes me a little anxious anyway. But it's fine. The hotel is fine. So, our door is at the top of the steps. I'd already thought about that too. And this room has two beds. Mine is by the door. And when I tell you by the door, I mean like I could sit on the corner and touch it with my foot. Okay? <laughs> And then it's not dramatic. I can touch it. With your short legs. <laughs> okay. And so about 5.30, I wake up to somebody bang it. No, I'm just kidding. They were knocking on the door. And it took me a second to realize why I woke up. Like, what just happened? And then they knocked again. And I jumped up with my blanket. Ooh, that sun. I jumped up with my blanket and ran over to Rachel's bed. And I said, Rachel, somebody is knocking on the door. Like she's my mother or something. Like, go check. And I, I don't have my contacts in. And I, but we had the TV on, but the sound was down. And I was like, I didn't see her acknowledge me the first time. So the second time I started shaking her feet and I was like, Rachel, somebody's at the door. And she aggressively was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, I had my blanket over my face. My stomach was so sick. And I was like freaking out. And um, she walked over there and looked through the peephole and then she turned around and said, I don't see anybody. And then about that time, they knocked again. And she looked outside again and she said, they're knocking on the window because I can't see them. And I was at this point about to vomit because I was like, somebody's trying to break in and they don't want us to see them. And Rachel goes, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> so she got back in her bed and I was sitting on the corner of her bed and I was like we need to call um the front desk and she was like I'll do it so bottom line we called the front desk and they sent security and we're alive this morning but but honestly why is stuff so much scarier when it's dark outside because if they would have knocked during the like right now who is that <laughs> Kill <Kelly. Kelly. laughs> me. <laughs> so we are on our way to Hollywood Studios and don't know how much I'll get as soon as we get there because I know Rachel's gonna legit be jogging to Star Wars. I'm not gonna be <laughs> able to keep up. So um yeah, that's where we're headed.
that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pokhara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pokhara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine Numb and I shall personally see them delivered. outside the wreck. All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you signed on for, but hey, you're resistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. I know, scat for his pocket. More escape pods down in If 
we're going to do this, then let's do it. But of course, we must make them feel welcome. Okay, so on Sunday, we went to the Animal Kingdom. I didn't end yesterday's little clip because we were so exhausted because after we had that little hotel scare we didn't get much sleep at all i fell asleep at 2 that happened at 5 30 and i didn't go back to sleep and my alarm went off at 6 30 so but yes this was animal kingdom it really gave us like it felt like we were at the zoo um all, it was 91 degrees, but with all of these trees that you can see here, provided so much shade. It kept us cool. Um, I mean, it was still very hot, but thank God for all these trees. But it was so cute. I think the most footage that I got was really on the safari ride that we done. But the Avatar ride was absolutely incredible. I think I got some clips on that. Rachel right here was probably telling me to take her picture. <laughs> Here's the Tarzan tree. up to the shoulder and they can weigh as much as 715 pounds. Both bundles speak to me. And from here we can start to see those giraffes. We're actually going to have a baby in there as well. So giraffes, they can get a stall from 18 to 20 feet and they can spend the whole day eating or just walking around and they just sleep 30 minutes during the day and they usually do it standing as well. So we're gonna have a bunch of them here mm -hmm. on our right. Once we grow around we're gonna be able to so he's gonna be right here on our left hand side right in the middle. And baby giraffes can be born being six feet and they are also drop six feet because mm -hmm. the monkeys were standing. The very first thing that they experience when they're born is gravity. And the heart of the giraffes is this big. Juicy 
that's what makes her feathers pink. Flamingos also like to put one leg up and leave the other one down because that actually helps them to cool down their body temperature. Also here in our ride, we're gonna have some ostrich eggs and um, 